A group of clones is in serious difficulty, since their clone DNA has a problem, and they are dying. Dr. Elias wants to help by repairing the DNA, but there are obstacles due to an EMP blast, that caused a power failure. Dr. Elias intends to deploy a green energy generator, in Iron Heights prison, Miss West urgently called out for Captain Cold, expecting help. However as she stepped inside, her shock was clear, the prisoners were escaping. The situation had taken a dangerous turn, and the icy confines of the prison were no longer secure. On Gem City Bridge, Captain Barrow and Officer Patty are trying to handle an upset crowd. It's raining, and people are getting frustrated waiting. Captain Barrow says they are setting up ferry service, but the crowd is not happy. Some people start yelling, and want to leave. Patty sees that things might get worse. Captain Barrow suggests Patty take charge, since the crowd is tired of hearing him. Flash just discovered that he can use his mind to access the speed force, allowing him to almost stop time. He shares this ability with civilians and police. Wayne Enterprises sent barges with supplies, generators, and emergency vehicles. Flash reassures everyone, that the bridge is safe, and encourages officers to distribute the supplies. The crowd, initially worried about the bridge, is relieved and cheers at the arrival of much-needed help. In Iron Heights prison, Folded Man, Girder, and Tar Pit see an opportunity to take Iris West hostage. However, Iris refuses to be a victim and fights back. Flash quickly handles the bad guys, and checks on Iris West. The officers thank Flash for his help, and Iris mentions a story, she was working on about Flash, which she admits got put on hold. She then shares a message from Captain Cold, saying he's coming after Flash. Manuel is tired of running away, so he tells Dr. Elias to just do what needs to be done. Dr. Elias explains, they have a plan to fix a genetic flaw, causing problems using an electromagnetic generator. Manuel asks if it will hurt, and Dr. Elias says it won't be pleasant, but it will fix the issue. A clone asks about their safety, and Dr. Elias says they should be fine, since the process only targets the genetic flaw. It's a risky plan, but there's hope for a solution. Flash reflects on Manuel, as the closest thing to family. Manuel who once helped Flash, overcome the loss of parents, took a dark path of revenge after losing his father. As Flash reaches his destination, he encounters a group of clones. Despite Flash's inquiry about Manuel and Dr. Elias, the clones respond aggressively by attacking him, instead of providing information. Flash moves through the clones at the speed of light, making his way effortlessly. The clones are tossed into the air, and amidst the chaos, Flash locates his friend Manuel and Dr. Elias. The Flash finds Manuel Lago in a critical state, due to Dr. Elias' experimental treatment. Dr. Elias insists, the process is giving clone a chance to live, but Flash realizes something's wrong. Shockingly, the process is harming Manuel instead of helping. Dr. Elias claims there is a problem with the containment, and Flash suggests he can prevent an explosion. Manuel disagrees, believing that the process is working. Despite Manuel's request, Flash decides to create a vortex to face the threat. In the aftermath, Dr. Elias declares the situation over, acknowledging Flash's efforts. Amidst the smoke, Manuel holds his unconscious clone. Manuel confronts Flash, expressing that by killing them, they don't have to die. In Keystone City's warehouse district, James, Patty, and David search for Barry in what looks like a war zone. Patty questions Barry's choices, involving someone named Manuel, expressing that Barry's real family is with them. Barry apologizes, explaining his decision to give Manuel a chance, due to a familial connection. Manuel says they're like family, and they're determined to survive, and fight against anyone who gets in their way. They believe in the power of mob rule. On the other hand, Dr. Elias admits he made a mistake. He connects mob rule's actions, a blackout caused by an EMP, and a problem with time travel that Flash didn't mean to do. Flash doesn't believe he can time travel, but Dr. Elias shows him proof, that his super speed caused some unintended problems. Dr. Elias discovered old items such as a train, a statue, a plane, and a tank in the wrong location. Tess suggests that the tank has been there for 70 years, even though it was made 20 years later. All these things have a special energy from Flash's super speed. Dr. Elias explains, that every time Flash runs really fast, it messes with time. It creates vortexes, that pull things from different times and places. Flash is shocked to hear, that his powers are causing trouble for space and time. Dr. Elias sadly suggests destroying the speed force, to avoid more problems. Flash faces a big decision, as he learns about the unexpected consequences of his super speed.